Hello and welcome to Crisis Critique. I'm Marita from Resolutions Northwest, and this is Stephen Fowler. Hey, what's up with y'all? Get it. So we're gonna watch some clips of the Reddit variety, I believe, um, that have some juicy conflicts in there. Mm. Um, and we are going to, you know, bring our restorative justice and mediation selves to the conflict and talk about it with you. A little RJ mediation critiquing. Mm. Just a little, a remix. A remix. Conflict are we supposed to be remix? facing each other or are we supposed to look at the camera? I didn't really. They gave you $2,600. Read the instrument, sir. That was, the first bill was totally different than this bill. But they, yeah, I pay you, no, I'll pay you things because I don't trust you. Because I is told you that I got a deadline. It's I told deposit. you that I had a deadline. Okay. okay, and now you're just pulling out yeah. because of fucking $2,000. What kind of a person are you? You're a crook. Ah! Sarah, stop. Oh. She's getting murdered. Did he say something at the end? He said nobody can work like this, I think. Got you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. Okay. So it seems like it was a money dispute or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, get, yeah, there was a contractor. There was a contractor. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they had some kind of written agreement before because he said, look at the proposal, mm -hmm. look at the estimate. Sounds like she put down a deposit and was refusing to pay the rest of the money. Interesting. So what I picked up, and you probably are correct, because the way that I be seeing things and hearing things is like, well, you're different. That's why we ask questions when we do our mediations. Yeah. Um, it sounded like she did not want to pay him until after the work was done. Yeah. And he was saying, no, you have to pay me a deposit before I start. And there was a separate project that he already did. And he's like, this is a, this is something totally different. Right. However, there was no like room to, to hear that um, explanation. Because um, why? Because, because of the blood curdling screams. <laughs> <laughs> I think before that oh. it was because she, um, so I'm thinking about her feelings now, yes. right? She did. She didn't, she didn't trust him. So trust was a huge thing for her in that mm -hmm. moment, or maybe like just in general. Um, I heard her call him a crook, mm -hmm. and the reaction makes me feel like like there was past experience mm -hmm. that have got her to this point to not even believe that this man was going to do a good job right. or to pay him up front. So are we supposed to say this as in what we would do in the moment if we were facilitating, like they were sitting down at the table? Yeah. Well, I'll tell this lovely woman. Yes. Um, that it seems that <laughs> she, <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on, pause. Hey, 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 stop. Thanks. Um, yeah, I, I'm very curious to know what would you do with this situation, Marita? <laughs> Can you hear Diva? It, it, it's fine. It's okay. Not okay. Um, yeah, I heard the same things as you. When I'm listening to a conflict, I'm always trying to hear for kind of the underlying feelings or values. And so I did pick up on, like, I don't trust you. Like you said, you know, calling him a crook. Um and also seeing the the bias on the side of the folks that are taking video of it, calling her a crazy old lady. So there's like already some distrust of this relationship before both sides go into it, I think. Um, yeah, I think if I was in a mediation space or a restorative space, I would, I mean, try and de-escalate the situation as much as possible because that escalated quickly. Um and probably reflect back to them what I'm hearing. So I would probably just be like, hey, Sarah, it sounds like you don't trust Joe Schmo. Mm -hmm. Why don't you trust him? And just mm -hmm. see what she says, you know? Yeah, I think I would I would just sit them both down. Yeah. And let's, let's just watch this video together. 
and let's just let's just recap. Yeah, <laughs> what, what happened here? And I think um, I, I really appreciate you like seeing the the language of like mm-hmm. whoever wrote the the language of the crazy crazy old lady mm-hmm. didn't want to pay the deposit or something like that. Whatever it stated, um, that how my brain worked was like outside of the video because I don't I don't know if the the worker the man who was doing the work if he put that there like that would be a whole nother um layer to like okay so this is what you were saying about this woman with without the content but it's was that other person like his employee or was it somebody walking down the street totally and 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 so I, I didn't even think of that, mm-hmm. that um, element. And so I appreciate you bringing that in there because if that bias is there and if that man did put that there, it's like, okay, we have to talk about like what uh, labels are you are you giving this woman? And we got to look at the power dynamics. we got to look at all the things. Um, and just how that, how that narrative is played like in patriarchy and mm-hmm. how you can easily cast um, someone as... <laughs> cast someone a label or a woman a label as crazy mm-hmm. or non-professional or aggressive when they are upset and showing emotions that's not mm-hmm. happiness joy or mm. the things of what a you mean like ladies is. should be yeah just here for your pleasure and happy and spreading joy and love sarah was not there to spread joy and love sarah was spreading screams <laughs> Yeah, and also in this day and age, it's like with social media, that video could have been totally somebody else's and then somebody else put that text on there. So you're right. Like, we don't know. And honestly, from the way that the contractor was interacting with Sarah, we couldn't tell if he had any bias like that. He seemed like he was he was just like trying to get paid, you know. Right. And so so in that situation, based off that little clip, my first thing would check in on Sarah. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, was that even her name? Oh, yeah, because yeah. he said Sarah. Stop. <laughs> As she was throwing the things down, I would check in on Sarah and exactly what you said. Like, how do we de-escalate Sarah to get her to be willing to, like, come to the table or even have a conversation about what her issues are with this right. person? Um, and once we get to the underlying feelings of, like, oh, this thing. You, you don't trust them. You've you've been burned in the past. Or, you know, I'm just making things up. And so so that reflected in the way that you wanted to do business with this person. Right. Um, how moving forward, can y'all make agreements beforehand so that maybe you won't get to a part where there's some confusion about yeah. um, who's going to pay and when's going to pay. Right. And Sarah, you might want to hold back on all that screaming uh, because there will be people thinking that you're getting murdered when yeah. you're in the house. I I called nine one one. I mean, I I would I couldn't call nine one one on my phone, but if my fingers were ever to dial those numbers, that might have been one of those situations. <laughs> That's true. I, it, I'm not I'm not all out here calling nine one one willy nilly people. It was like a joke. I'm making jokes here. Okay, she, moving on, Noah. She's, she's a comedian. I got jokes. There's some good leggings in this one already. Are those? Oh! They're not leggings. <laughs> they should be. When another cable customer is not as happy as you are. Oh. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh, he indeed was fucking serious. He was fucking serious. <laughs> um, he was like, fuck that Game of Thrones finale. Boom. So it says, when another cable customer is not as happy as you are. Okay, so now they're just, they're giving, we don't know the scenario, right? But let's say that was the scenario. He was there as a cable box. The shit wasn't working. He tried to get a discount and get it back. She said, no, you probably broke it yourself. So he flipped out. Mm -hmm. In that situation... I'm leaving. <laughs> the police, like, the police is coming. I'm out of there. There ain't no mediations happening. There's no. <laughs> no, thank you. But... <laughs> also, like, as like a as like a spoiled baby child, I can relate to this video because throwing tantrums worked for me for a long time. <laughs> so Isla would like get what I wanted because I threw tantrums as a child and as an adult. 
But I don't do that anymore. Don't worry about it. When was the last one you threw? Don't worry about it, Stefan. <laughs> okay, I will okay. stop worrying. <laughs> I have a fully intact cable box at home. Okay. We understood. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. What would you... So, uh, you would leave. I mean, if, if someone legit started throwing shit in mediation, I would leave. Well, yeah, at that moment, it's, it's not safe anymore. And I got to make sure the other person, if whoever the other person is, is safe in yes. that moment. Right? And... um. You know, I've been going to boxing for a reason, just just in case in mediation somebody starts tripping like that. Mm. I'm gonna have to make sure the other parties are safe, and I might have to knock somebody out. But that's neither here nor there. Let's take to the video. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this man, I'm assuming that he's a man. Um, oh, why are you doing that? Um, just because he didn't have leggings on, as you said. <laughs> man, can we leggings? <laughs> I know I have some on under here. Oh my gosh. Just kidding. Um, for now. This man or this human being that looks masculine and sure. has the characteristics of an angry white um, mm. man needs to do a deep dive mm. in his <laughs> emotional bandwidth and see if he's even able to go back out into public. Right. And <laughs> And how he should do that is maybe sitting down and talking about like what what led up to this moment, right? Mm -hmm. Like what was the what was the the straw that like the feather that broke the camel's back, mm -hmm. and then from there we can move back into like his emotions. Like obviously anger showed from the woman that was in the counter, but I don't think any of this was acceptable. <laughs> so I don't even know what to say. Noah, what the hell are you giving us? It, 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 look, if, you, if you're like, I don't have much to say on this one. Yeah, we don't have to like pull on. shit out. Yeah, we don't, you don't have to have like a whole long thing on these videos. I mean, but we'll probably give it to you and you can just cut it down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> uh, all right, let's play the next one. Steve, you're doing such a good job. <laughs> good job, baby. Okay, staff, pay attention. Okay. Get back on your highway to hell and get out of a godly man's face! No, I will. By your very blind ignorance, you don't have the ability to even come up with your own fucking ideas. Are you exercising your right as a private company Take away my rights. Jesus Christ. You, say you can refuse service. Yes. Are you refusing my service? Yes. Why don't you say we refuse your service? No. I choose to yell, and you cannot stop me. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Return to your service of Satan in your ignorance. Believe that you are right. Please, in the future, respect. My rights, no one else's. You will no never one else fucking get my six foot space and then think I'm not gonna tell you. So I have the right to life. Oh, it keeps going. Liberty and the pursuit of happiness. My hand is best sorry. I stand in your face and say you are a fool and wrong. You have no more you to me. Okay, you threaten me too. Yeah. You threaten me. Ain't nobody threatening me. Get me out of the studio. You think you would? Come pussy. First of all, like bold choice in sweats, like bright orange. You know what? That that shit was fly. I can't even lie. Right? I was looking. This, I was just like, I want that outfit. I'm was there anything else happening in that besides those sweats? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I thought it was dope. <laughs> so you know, from context clues, I'm mm -hmm. picking up that dude didn't want to wear a mask in a Walmart, mm -hmm. and that the staff were asking him to leave, mm -hmm. and then he decided that meant that they were worshipers of Satan. Mm -hmm. And he became holieth of thou. Mm. And he then felt like his rights were being stripped away from mm. him, and he wanted to make sure they knew that he had the right to scream, yell, to stand in the doorway of Walmart without any, um, what he say, you don't have authority over me. Mm. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go to 
the clerk side. Sure. Right. I feel like they did a really good job. They really did. I feel like there was like a moment in there in my brain. Oops, I, I, I'm not a fist away. I was like, you were on just it. in it. You were like, I well, was ready to- what? <laughs> Why do we do, do are things Are we switching like the this? OnlyFans now? What? <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> Noah, this is this, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Um, they did there was a moment in time when he got so close Mm. and i i perceived that to be a black woman and he put his finger in her face she was black i didn't notice that i i was trying to peep it and then it like made more context because like how she was standing like yeah and i was yeah 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 like i I wasn't I, I, sure until I, that moment. And yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, she black. Everyone else was backed, you know. See, and I think it's like, it's interesting the thing is different things we pay attention to because, like, I was just focused on the fact that she was, like, probably a woman and was, like, a big, strong woman that was standing there. And I was like, I had a moment of being like, should a man step in there? And then I, like, got mad at myself for mm. thinking that a man should step in to protect this woman when obviously she can fucking take care of herself. Mm-hmm. Like, she was a fucking badass and was just standing there. Mm. So, okay, black woman. Yeah, so, yes. And I was like, oh, she about to whoop his ass. It's going to happen. Like, there's a moment when you snap. When somebody touched, get too close, he almost, like, tickled her nose through the mask. Boop. Yep, he almost <laughs> boop. <laughs> boop. If, if he would have booped her, she would have booped him. And it uh-huh. been a pro- but all, all of this to say, <laughs> from that point, like, there was... Like, safety of the store. So they were trying to get him out of there. I'm thinking of, like, what would their underlying needs be in that moment, right? And there was also a, a form of, like, disrespect at that point. So there was, like, okay, now we not just about to let this man do all this wild shit. Um, on his end, he felt as a God-serving American yes. that he could walk in the store as a holy man mm. Without his mask, free of corona, because God cures corona. Oh, yeah. And nobody that worships Satan's authority should be able to stop him. <laughs> well, oh. um, I wouldn't know how to mediate that. I'm just going to keep it real. I would, I would, <laughs> y'all, y'all motherfuckers is tripping. Um, dude, you can't be yelling at people like this, yeah. especially in the store, especially yeah. getting it in their face. Can we just be real? Like, this Chris, crisis critique, like, I'm telling this man, like, chill the fuck out. Like, if if it was anybody else, you probably would have got your ass beat. So, yeah. like, is that what you wanted? And if that's not what you wanted, how do we work around that? Yeah. Yeah. I had a thought, and it went away. Whoa, Debo. Let's just just, just not look. (laughs) Uh, Oh, oh. The moment that I was like, oh, was when he was like, when I come back in here, you're going to respect my rights and nobody else's. Like, it was like, oh, that really took a turn. Like, literally nobody else's rights, just yours. You want us to rent out all of Walmart for you so you can wear Mm. no mask and pick up your Mountain Dew or whatever you drink. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, great. This is, uh, this is ridiculous. This is showing that we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> no. It's fun. No, it's great. We on a train. Trolley. What the fuck? Hey, yo. <laughs> He's like, why are you driving in my bike lane? Wow. Did you, were you able to hear any audio that he said? No. Okay. So we, okay. I think it was just like. Why are you driving in my bike lane? I'm going to bend your windshield wipers. He was pissed. He was so mad. He He was. He was in the wrong lane and he got mad. (laughs) (laughs) 
That's what's so funny. Oh, that's like that's like when people get like get caught in a lie and they get mad or you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know you wrong. Like you, so you bad because you was wrong. <laughs> that's what happened. Uh, but he bent the windshields though. Like them windshields was not working no more. Like, if it started raining right that day, all those people would have been just like <laughs> I think he was like a superhero. <laughs> it was full of metal. Can you bend a windshield? Well, you I, probably can. I, I don't know. Look at those guns. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so a lot of these, what I'm starting to realize is <laughs> there's just anger problems, right? Yeah. <laughs> do we deal with anger problems? Oh, yeah. Oh, um, uh, how do you deal with anger problems? Folks are angry. Well, I think, I mean, yes, I think your analysis of, of a lot of this is accurate in terms of like at a certain level, it's just not mediatable. Just made that word up. That sounded wonderful. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there are some things that are off limits. If somebody started bending equipment, I would probably ask them to leave. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say about this one. So the other, again, you just like, wanted our reaction. <laughs> I feel like all these videos, you just have to show this to the people. Be like, so what were you thinking in this moment? I know. When he, <laughs> I mean, some of these I do get a little uncomfortable because it's obvious that they're, like, not mentally well. You know, it's like mm. that person, not, like, uh, yeah. It seems like he was not not well. <laughs> but it's funnier if he is well and he's just like, get out of my fucking body. <laughs> right. All right. I mean, and, and I, so I, I appreciate you saying that because I'll be like, it, it, it could just be that day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. It could be that day. They fed the fuck up. Sarah. It was that day. Right. She didn't, she didn't got robbed by too many crooks. And, yeah. And that dude was the last one. The yeah. Dude in the store. Okay. I, I don't fuck him. He uh, <laughs> he was tripping. All yeah, his yeah, godly yeah. stuff. Um, American rights. Mm. White men. White people. Just, just his rights. His rights only. Yes. yes. But yeah, it's just like looking at it from a restorative lens, mm. right? Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Now we got to look at the um, like society as a whole. We got to look at the punitive structures that they have lived through to even get them to this point. Yeah. And be like, yo, you've been socialized to act this way for a reason. Mm -hmm. Now, what is causing your blockage from like letting some of that go? Right. And how does that healing of you help your community, help everything else? And, mm -hmm. like, walk folks back through that shit. That's a whole process. That's not nothing you can mediate. That's that's something that... Yeah. Yeah. For I mean, sure. Right. It's like when you watch that, you if you look at, like, a nested model of conflict and think about that black man in the, in the video, it's like, what else has been taken from him? Mm -hmm. Why else is he angry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who else has been up in his lane when they shouldn't be, mm -hmm. you know? Metaphorically and literally. Word. <laughs> we went on a deep dive on that. Uh, hey, I like it. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Rewind it a little bit. I gotta see the, I gotta see the throw it. Debo's moving on. Opa! <gasps> <laughs> Wait, you got footage of me when I used to drink? No? I, I was joking. I said you got footage of me when I used to drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need you guys to help what? me in the I'm so 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 first of all I seen the video but I never seen the ending. I'm so glad I got to just witness that ending. Oh, you seen that before? I seen the, the beginning part before. The Rapunzel part? <laughs> Okay, like what? What are we picking up? Is what's happening there? Well, <laughs> he so the help that he had, uh huh, when, when he threw the thing down, like that was his escape route, and yeah. he was obviously, um, um, the woman was cheating with this man. Oh, yeah. So the husband came in 
and was like, what the fuck? And the dude jumped out the bed and was like, okay, we go. And he threw the thing and he started running. And the woman, she started throwing his clothes down. They were like, go, go, go. <laughs> wow, I did not pick up on any of that. Yeah, so the woman threw the clothes and the man was trying to shimmy down. And the husband was yelling and he ran down there and caught him. What I didn't see was he falling, hurting himself, and then the husband finding Catching him up down to him. there. Wow. No, I'm good. I okay. Stefan did a good job of recapping it. So, I mean, what I'm seeing here is some avoidant style conflict navigation, right? Instead mm -hmm. of just being like, you right, I fucked your wife. Now what? He's like, I'm out. I'm going to throw this <laughs> janky ass rope down the <laughs> balcony. <laughs> That isn't long enough so that I fall and I hurt myself. I'm just, they had an escape plan. Like, they thought that shit through. That's that's true. They really, they had to tie a bunch of towels together for that. <laughs> that was a lot of towels. That was, right, like, it was like, like, we might not have enough, but it'd be enough for me to just drop and then run. Yeah. Like, wow. And the assumption is that that was wife and husband. Um, but... It could have been boyfriend, girlfriend, it could have been boyfriend, it could have been anything. And the anger that I seen in that man's face, I just knew because I've been in that situation before. You know, I was shimming down those ropes before. <laughs> and so, like, I understand, like, the look of that anger. <laughs> I thought maybe it was like a dad getting mad at, a, like, a teenage boy that snuck into a... Mm. That's what I thought. Oh. Oh, the... Yeah. Stefan, I think you're projecting from your past. Hey, you know, anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sweating over here or anything. What? what? Uh, yeah. So. I mean, yes, you're right. That was some forethought. That was like, yeah, it was like predetermined conflict avoidance mm -hmm. with that. Bloop. You know. And so what, 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 knowing that it was conflict avoidance, mm. um, was it the right idea to avoid that conflict? Because if he would have stayed and tried to like be, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's avoidance, there's, um, he can compete, mm -hmm. he can try to collaborate. Mm. There was none of that shit happening. I think just being there and he tried to be like, hey, let's talk this out. The guy probably would have threw him over the balcony. Right. So avoidance was probably the it best. Probably, out of all the options there, it probably was the best. <laughs> Um, and um, yeah, I just I would have stayed and fought. Oh, you would have for my love. Oh, for the love. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I see some big Tupperware. Big tups. The kitchen to fill these. We yeah, can do I it. I like this crap. Definitely no cheese in the pan. This is wife's spot. <gasps> Very happy to be this throwing this away. Bacon. No, I want my bacon. I gotta tell you something. <laughs> bacon is good for me. This is very good. You're big. gonna be going to the grocery store. She thinks at the blue she's a smart little girl and <gasps> she can do whatever she wants. No, that's not how she can do it in our family. She's out like she's the queen and we're the sorry people. Joy, I have been nice to you, but now I'm coming to the edge. I promise you one thing, okay? <laughs> if you do not have at least one food that you like, I will buy you a piece of junk. Is that a deal? No, I keep losing at deals, and I don't want to make a deal anymore. <laughs> I am leaving, and you can't stop me. I'm packing my bags. <laughs> and a very, very calm day into this. A bump in the road comes, and she be sarcastic. Curtis. I won't be coming back until Saturday when you leave. She's going to try to stop me, but she can't run those little high heels. <gasps> Never see this face again. <laughs> wow. First of all, I definitely had his haircut at a certain point in my life. I think you sent me one of those pictures. I did. <laughs> <laughs> the good old bowl cut. Okay, so what I'm inferring here is that this is probably wife swap, mm. where they take the wives and they swap them from different families, 
And now she's coming in and trying to run the family the way that she runs her family, presumably. Mm. Mm. There, were, for, I just want to say there was like a shit ton of misogyny in there from this little white boy. Mm-hmm. Calling her a, this little girl acting like a queen. You would think you, you can't run in those heels. Woo! <laughs> Right. And it's right. it's a white boy mm-hmm. with a black woman mm-hmm. coming in like there's so many levels of just what we were talking about of like the context. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What would you pick up on it, Stefan? Well, the things that you mentioned. Yeah. And I'm like, this boy obviously has like um, some ability to like have conversation. Like he's he he's an intelligent young boy. Yes. And. Um, the race element to me was the big, so as he, as this little white kid is seeing this black woman, probably one of the only black women he's seen in his life come in and try to dictate his living space, um, his tapes of like what black people are and who they are was playing as he was speaking even when he was like she's the queen and and we're the poor old folks we're the sorry people yeah the sorry people that's what he said (laughs) as if like it was flip-flopped right right right? like how dare she yeah Yeah. like we're who y'all are and like and like that (laughs) i don't know what place in america this is this is everywhere place of america but that specific situation um (laughs) i don't even know where i was going with that that's just that's what i picked up yeah i picked up this little racist boy um this misinformed child um feeling like he could sit down and have a dialogue Mm -hmm. yet he didn't believe that the person was worth having a conversation Mm. with because he was like i don't care I'm better than this situation because I've been taught, I've learned that I'm better than this situation Right. with these girls that think they could just tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be my own man and I'm leaving the house and you'll never see this face again. <laughs> yeah. And there's a certain amount of like privilege with being able to be like, I'm just leaving. I'm going and I'm not going to deal with you for sure. I don't know one kid. That could be like, I'm leaving, and they come go back, pull up with a suitcase full of clothes. I, like, <laughs> like he's done it before. Like he yeah. know, he, he's used this technique. Yes. <laughs> so he is tired of making deals because he keeps losing deals. <laughs> he wants that bacon. Bacon is good for him, Stefan. And he was feeling like he was losing out on things that um, he was used to. Yeah. So his underlying feelings. Oh, this here's, but scratch all that. Scratch. I don't want to say fuck the kids' feelings. Fuck that kids' feelings <laughs> for a second, right? Like she tried to come with an a, like a deal. Like okay, well let's let's meet halfway. And in mediation, when someone comes up with something, the other person shuts it down. And it's like, well, okay, this isn't what you want. Do you even want to be here? Do you even want to have this conversation? Yeah. What is it that you could have? If there's no way to even have the conflict or have a conversation about the conflict. Right. Well, then maybe you need to pack your little suitcase and get your ass on. Uh (laughs) Yeah. I also, I wonder, like, if I were watching this, I would want to rewind it and see how that that situation was was set up. You Mm. know, like, what kind of conversations did she have with the children about why she was taking food out Mm -hmm. like what you know what kind of trust did she establish with them if any because like i mean you know it's like Mm -hmm. yes we can look at the identities and all of that and also like if somebody came into my house and took away my oreos and my haagen ice cream bars i'd be pissed like i would Mm -hmm. be like what are you doing like Mm -hmm. okay so i think a lot of that like you know in restorative practices we often look at what is the connection already like Mm -hmm. how have they established trust Mm. What if, how do they communicate in general? And with a wife swap like this, probably none of that happened. Right. Probably she just came in and the producers were like, okay, do what you do, you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> Which well, is the point, because we get drama like this. Exactly. When yeah. there's no there's no relationship, breeds conflict. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Diva's doing a really good job right now. Huh? He's doing great. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. okay. 
So I missed the very beginning. There was no beginning, Stefan. Like, what, what started? We don't know. Interesting. Here's, okay. Yes. I feel like this clip is like a metaphor mm. for power dynamics in the world mm. that some folks with different privileges based on their identities and the way they are positioned in the world have many more tools at their disposal to either provide service or destruction. Mm. Right? So we see this like person in a huge ass truck that's like running over everything. And then we see this one person who's not in a vehicle that's just like throwing a metal pole. They're both obviously angry about something. And yet one person has like, such a, a much more massive tool of destruction than the other one, mm. right? So that just, when I was watching it, I was like, oh, this is like, I don't know, watching like a black or brown person with a white person in power mm. and like what the kind of destruction that can happen given the right tools, right? Mm. That's the most magical thing you could have pulled out of that video. <laughs> And what did you get out of it? No, that shit was deep and real. Like, I definitely didn't go there. But mm. when you said that, I'm like, oh, <laughs> we need to show this video on all our trainings and then have you just say that, right? Because, like, <laughs> think about the power dynamics. Because that person in the truck, if they, they're going to be sitting in court with the other person that threw the stick, I mean, like, well, they threw the stick at me first. And then the judge is going to be like, motherfucker, you knocked down the whole city block in the light pole. Like, what? The there's balance is not equal, right? Right. But this is what white folks in power do in retaliation mm -hmm. to folks when they feel like they've been harmed or wronged, mm -hmm. right? And then it's like, but. And then they complain about the dent in their and big ass truck. And then they complain about the little dent. Well, mm -hmm. they, if they wouldn't have did that dent, no, look at the damage that you can cause. And you have been causing historically to right now. Okay. And you think that this shit is even? Mm -hmm. No. So now let's give the other person the truck and let's tie you on the street. And let's just see what <laughs> <laughs> just let's just do a little, a little, flip a little here. flip flop. But yeah. the, and then that's the fear, too. Right. It was like, well, what if they had that truck? Mm -hmm. Then what? We should start a show called Privilege Swap. Mm. 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 And what I got out of that video is just the same thing I got out of all of these people have real anger problems <laughs> and they just do not do in it's like therapy is a thing but you know yeah. it's a lot of folks don't have access to right. that um and like community like love like mm -hmm. what what's the elements to stopping folks from like 
Yeah. Whew. See, my, my brain is still going where I'm like, you know, the person in the truck. So I'm just making that like a white person, right? Like made the system so that he could get licensed to drive that truck, owns the gas station to fuel that truck, made the streets. You know what I mean? Like just like all of the systems are designed for the person in the truck to succeed. And the court system would be set up for the person with the stick to get the punishment. Absolutely. Mm. They'd be like, what were you even doing on that street? You shouldn't Mm. be on that street. Why did you have a metal stick? It's probably not what it's called. Right. Metal stick. Metal stick. Well, you know, art is for interpretation. (laughs) (laughs) Moving along. (laughs) Thanks. You got to turn it up, boo. It's all the way up. We don't need to see. Okay. Sprinkler. We have a sprinkler. (gasps) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go home, girl. (laughs) Oh, my God. You're going to lose that battle. Okay, now I think maybe we should call somebody. Zig? <laughs> yeah. Please get off my property! The 911? No, we don't need to call 911. Yeah, I'll call 911. Do you want me to call? What? Wake up, we're in bed, right? I'm- She's getting soaked. Like, nobody needs to call 911. What? There was potential of her drowning. She could have drowned. Yeah, she was getting waterboarded. <laughs> I wake up, she's on Tinder, texting other guys, sending other guys kissy faces, telling them to add on Snapchat, and cra- wow, in bed with me. Now, and this is no. this is also why two days ago she told me she loves me, no. right? But she's on Tinder texting other guys after no. she said she loved me. She drove no. down here, right? She lives in Fukuoka. She drove down no. to Iwakuni. It was matching You're with right. guys in Iwakuni. She matched with a You're motherfucker right. down the hallway. <gasps> and you know how I know he lives down the hallway? Because I work with him. <gasps> I have your things. Because you said me. You go. I have your things. Please leave. Well. <laughs> I don't know that he needs us. Yeah, I mean, he did really well. I mean, we might have a, a spot to hire him on yeah. the mediation <laughs> team. Do you need a job, sir? Do you want to not work with and, that man that was flirting with your girlfriend? And he was smart to record the whole situation because we know that situation could have ended, I mean, any yeah. type of way. And yeah. it could have went real sour. I want to know what she was thinking because she just kept saying no. She was like, no, no. No. <laughs> no. Right. I mean, what what could you deny? He was holding like her phone and like right. you know what I'm saying? So it was like, oh, I'm caught. Now I'm 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 seems like she actually loved this person mm. to be like, oh, I'm hurt now because now he's breaking up with me. Mm. And also you was about to slide down the hallway and go d- get... No, never mind. Let me stop. I forgot. This yeah, is the OnlyFans section. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this, is, this is why I'm like... like I've never really understood cheating in this sense. Mm. Because I'm like, A, it's natural for adults and humans to have attraction to other people. So for me, and where I stand, sit with it, it's like... Just talk about it. Like if you mm. wanna if you wanna have relations with other people, talk about it. And if your partner doesn't want to, then maybe you should find another partner where that you know, feels cool, you know? I don't know. I mean, it, it it's it seems that easy to just say it that that way, right? <laughs> but when there's emotions involved. Yeah. And folks don't have the experience of like stepping out of mus- monogamy. Right. Um yeah. Like that's a lot. This situation is runs very true to my just like the other one, you know what I'm saying? I've been around things which, which like this. Which one were you? 
Both. Both. Um, okay. Okay. But it was in a point in my life when, like, misogyny, misogyny, monogamy. I'm like, which one? Both. <laughs> Misogynogamy. Misogynogamy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, both was at play. Um, but monogamy was the, like, thing to do. Yeah. And anything outside of that had to be secret, right? Yeah. And so when situations like this would happen, I guess like, oh, well, fuck. I fucked up instead of, like, being able to have the conversation. Right. And if it doesn't go well, okay, bye. Find another partner. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I've been, I've been, I've been Yuko in this situation. <laughs> I, I mean, like, not, I've been in a monogamous relationship mm-hmm. where I would start developing a crush or an attraction to somebody else. And I, I probably, when my partner was asleep, I would be texting them, Mm. but I never, it was never like a physical connection, but then I would take that opportunity to be like, Hey, let's talk about opening up our relationship. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because we are conditioned to believe that monogamy is the best form of relationship Mm. for sure. I don't know that this dude needs our help though. I think he got it. Well, yes. And, Mm. Because I also seen a sense of um, like, and maybe this is just what I'm feeling from just watching the video of like, he wouldn't have been open to hearing what she had to say. No. You know, like there was no space for her to say, well, this is why. And this is it. He was very, let me expose you to the world and kick your ass up out of here, you yeah. know, um, which is a humiliation tactic due yes. f- to like, him probably feeling like vulnerable or insecure um, and hurt. Mm-hmm. You know, he was hurt that she was about to go get D down by his homeboy right down the block. So he probably know his homie was swinging something that was better and bigger than his. Yeah. So he was hurt and yeah. he was like, now I got to embarrass you because my pride. <laughs> yeah. I'm not speaking. Like, I'm not speaking from experience or anything. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um and like if we were to dive deeper in that like and they were able to have that dialogue like would he even be able to talk about that and that's right. the thing right like to a lot of folks even be able to express their vulnerabilities in the conversation um which is why our jobs are so important because yes. we pull that shit out like oh excuse me sir it looks like there's a little bit of pain in there and we don't have to to figure what that is. Yeah. And are you willing to tell her that was painful? Right. Yeah, you know? there was it was masked with a lot of self-righteousness and just like I'm right, can you even believe this shit? Mm-hmm. Instead no. of being like, "Yo, I really love this girl and like I feel sad about this. Right. Why did you do me like this?" you know? Mhm. Yeah. For knowing, sure. Knowing damn well he was in like four or five other women's DMs. Oh. I mean, he I'm was in mine this morning. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming over later, boo. Look, there ain't no righteousness, brother. You better keep it real. No, I'm <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. How many more do we got? Cool. We can wrap whenever. You're feeling good, bud. We good. We've been going for 55 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I can keep it. going. What? I'm enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> Only fans. They stole it out again. Oh shit! There we go. Title 18, United States Code, Section 242, Color of Law. You're all Nazis. Call them. I don't care. Am I telling you you're an idiot? Sir. You're a traitor to the country. All of you. Adios. Bye. What are you doing? I'm are you harassing me? No, I'm, huh? I'm asking you to leave. You know, CDC says put two masks on. Wait, wait, two masks. Wait, 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 two masks. Wait, 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 two masks. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm not, she's approaching wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. You're chasing and harassing me? Oh, you're going to put your hands on me? No, put your hands on her. I put, you're chasing me? I need you to go. I need you to go. Wow. Yeah, so like this cat. Hi, baby. Oh, my God. He's gonna like bite me. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know why you put this in okay. because of maple. Okay. Okay. 
Well, another mask situation mm -hmm. we have here in some kind of restaurant. <sighs> so I'm just going to get vulnerable right now. Yeah. And like, listen, like feel the, 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 the toxicity that lives deep in myself. Okay. Like the masculinity toxicity I feel when I'm about to say this, mm. but like if someone walks up on me as I'm walking away, like my reaction is to turn back around and like oh. turn up. Like that's like a, a top response, you yeah. know, it's like, okay, I'm leaving the situation. And then you run up like, yeah. And I'm now, now you didn't, now you, now you want, now, now you want it. And so like, I felt it. Like, I didn't want to feel what he was feeling, but I felt that shit. Like, he did his piece, yeah. yelled, and he was walking out. And then it felt like it was that pressure of, like, somebody coming at me once I've already decided to let it go. Once you've already called everyone a Nazi. Once I called everyone a Nazi. <laughs> you all Nazis. I'm turning around. Fuck you. I'm leaving. And then someone walk up on me. I'm turning back in this action again. You okay. know? So I... I, I I'm not saying he's in the right. Yeah. But I know that fucking feeling. Like, yeah. it's hard for me to to turn around when I've already decided to leave. So, anyways, he was wrong as fuck. But. No, I appreciate I that. I felt that shit. Yeah. I felt yeah. that shit. It's interesting to see, like, the different things that we relate to. The thing that I uh, latched on to there was, I feel like I hear a lot of white folks and folks in privileged positions really fixate on language around like you're attacking me or oh like what he said like oh now you're following me and harassing me when mm. like in my perspective she was just trying to make sure the space was safe for the rest of the customers mm -hmm. because he had been harassing everyone and so but but people with privilege and power get really fixated on mm -hmm. anything that could be perceived as an attack mm -hmm. and are like, no, but you attack me. You attack me. Mm -hmm. So that's what I heard from it was like, mm -hmm. oh, case in point, you know. Right. He's like, now you're putting your hands on me. And now so everything was attack at that mm -hmm. moment. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I was just coming from a nigga from Portland. So I don't know. <laughs> that's, that, that was my experience. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously isn't a nigga from Portland or a nigga in general. Uh, so it does not apply. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And like, I appreciate you mentioning like the safety part mm -hmm. and like that, like what does everyone does something different, like in a situation, right? Like for me, if I was that person that was walking to make sure, like my thing is like, okay, he's leaving. Let's ignore him. Like mm -hmm. everyone is everyone is everyone okay? Are we safe? Everyone's cool, but we're ignoring that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that, I, but I'll keep my eye on it. Be like, okay, he's leaving. He's leaving. Ignored. Mm -hmm. The like follow after to make sure, like I already know in the body that I'm in, it's going to be a problem. Sure. So, so, and like it was a, a woman received mm -hmm. that I've seen. That's why those tall, um, strong physique, sexy white guys yes. ran to her rescue those prince charmings mm. um <laughs> they look like what <laughs> <laughs> if, if that's no, what happens if, when i'm if, in distress just two sexy white men stroll up and they're like let me protect you princess yeah that's that's the dream <laughs> Don't we all just wish we had our Prince Charmings? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Okay. Holy crap. Okay, cat. Can I just get past here? Oh, oh my god, my heart is... Holy hell. <laughs> kitty, kitty, it's okay. Ah! <laughs> I'm just here to show the house. Oh my god, I can't. I'm like stuck in this bedroom. And he's got claws. Let me tell you, my foot is poof. No! No, no. It's a kitty! You are not a very nice kitty. Shh. I'm just gonna walk past. Shh. Stay. Good kitty. Okay. Maybe not. Okay, kitty. Just let me go. Kitty! Oh my gosh! 
This guy is mean. I'm seriously like stuck here. Oh my god. I don't even know what to do. Yeah, I think they need to lock this cat up for showings. This is why uh, I yeah. sold the house. I swear to God. Debo, you farted again. Oh my again. God, I don't even know what to do. Okay. Stay. No! 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 Okay, that doesn't work. Stay. Cats are Don't dogs. stay. No. Hey! I'm not doing anything to Just you. Just run! I'm trying to get out of here. Okay, yes, is running. this your space? Okay. We're gonna lock that door. Oh, good. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell the seller or the buyer not to go in that room. Um, so I would love to know what you would have done in this situation. I mean, I probably would have done the same thing as her. Really? What what else to do? What it what it I mean, at that moment we're so can I just be real? Yeah. Hi baby. And this is probably not good to say even though I have Are you a, a killing whole, the cat? Whole animal life in front of me. I wouldn't have killed the cat. I definitely would have kick the cat or like tried to if it would have attacked me we would have fought it would have been a fight like that's like in the wilderness and an animal or raccoon or something runs up and you're like well i'm just done no like we're if you attack me i'm attacking you back that's just how it goes down because in the world the animal's not looking at me like this is a human they should have respect for me right now it's like that's a so cats are all similar lions to leopards they're all the brains are the same that cat was trying to kill that lady <laughs> <laughs> it was trying to kill her it was like if it had the chance it was going for the jugular so i would have had oh I have a story, but I don't want to tell that story because I'm, you're a cat. You know, no, you can I, tell I, a story. I don't want to, I'm, I don't, I'm not a cat we're person. On camera, I just. I was I never a cat people. person before Maple. There was a moment actually when I was like, "This is what she should do," but it's risky. When yeah. she got on the bed, she was like, "I just don't know what to do." You had a whole cover right there. Like, I would oh, put yeah. the blanket on the cat. Yeah. And then ran out the door. Yeah. Like the cat would have took a second to get out. And then no, I think that's smart. On. Like that's. That was her only option. If the cat would have jumped on the bed, oh, that's what I was waiting for. I thought it was about to be a full-on brutal assault. Hey. But I had an ex that had two cats. One of her cats' name was Willow. Willow was aggressive like this. Oh. But randomly, like, Willow be cool, come over, let you pet, and then, like, flip the switch, and they'll start hissing and then, like, mm -hmm. run at you and attack you. And she was like, just when Willow does that, you know, just just kind of look away from her and let her do her thing. So I tried that a few times. And then this cat would, like, would run up and hiss and, like, claw at my legs. And my partner would always be there. And one day, she left. And it was just us all in the house. Mm -hmm. Me, the nice cat, and then Willow. Willow decided to do her bullshit. So I'm like, Willow, your human is not here right now. Mm -hmm. I want to let you know that I used to be a gang member. I done done a lot of shit in my life, and I'm not about to let you punk me right now while I'm sitting mm -hmm. on this couch. Mm -hmm. I, I gave my piece. I said, leave me alone, Willow. I said, okay, you ramping up. All right, you going to ramp up? I'm going to ramp up, too. Nigga, what's up? I start getting loud. What's happening? If you want some, we can get it. If you want to run up, let's go. And then Willow's like, eh, start getting higher. And I'm like, I can get higher, too. <laughs> So I'm like flexing, Willow's flexing, and then she charges me. <gasps> I kick the shit out of this cat harder than I've ever kicked anything in my life. Willow has never charged me ever again, and I was with that person for another like year. Wow! And never got attacked from that cat. <laughs> Did you tell your partner that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I said, I said, yo, Willow ran up on me. It was like real hectic. We was yelling and screaming. She was screaming. I was screaming. She charged me. I kicked her. Now we cool. <laughs> Damn. So, like, 
again, I knew in my head that I was wrong. I was like, Peter's going to destroy me. Oh, yeah. I'm a restorative justice person. Oh, how did I kick this cat? But in my head, I was like, that cat would have fucked me up. Yeah. And now the cat respects me. I respect the cat. We don't fuck with each other. Yeah. So in that moment, sometimes to avoid conflict, you have to, or not avoid it, you have to mm. do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I would have did the same thing to a human being. I'll try to de-escalate it. And after the escalation doesn't work, like, hey, you're getting too close. You want to put your hands on me? It's going to be a problem. Mm. Willow was out for blood, so I had to give her this boot. Yeah. <laughs> Which I would have did the same thing to the cat in this <laughs> video. This has been Crisis Critique with Marita and Stefan from Resolutions Northwest. We hope that you, like, I don't know, laughed, learned some things about conflict exploration, restorative justice and mediation practices. And whether you're out there fighting for your right to eat bacon, fight a semi-truck with a metal stick, sleep with someone before Rapunzeling out the window, we hope that you keep some of these tips in mind. Don't kick a cat. <laughs>